Hello everyone and welcome to Bree's Project Book. Today we are going to update our sitting area on our back patio. If you're interested to see how I decorate this for the summer 2021, stay tuned. Hello everyone and welcome to Bree's Project Book. Most of you have been with me a while know that each year I try to update the decor out here uh, to add a little something to complete my vision. And today I added the greenery and I also added a couple of other things that I put out here like the fireplace screen. Next year or the following year and I will be adding a few more things but I think it would be something structural. Uh, we'll see. And it takes a little time, but you know, as we go through the process, it will be satisfying at the end. And we're going to go ahead and jump right in. I wanted to apologize in advance for how dark this is in the beginning. The sun is trying to come across here and it's leaving a lot of shadow. So if you can barely see me, I apologize. But I tried different angles to get the shot and this seems like the best. So hopefully everything would turn out. Okay, everyone as you can see I have the basics out here now all I have to do is just add the stuff to make it look more like a decorative room so we are going to go ahead and do that but I wanted to show you what it looks like before I add all the pretty things Okay, so we're going to talk about this corner right here. I think this lantern is perfect for a space in a corner. Uh, I purchased this lantern from QVC a couple of years ago during the Christmas in July. It didn't cost that much. I think it was in uh, $56 maybe. But I love that it, it has a nice, beautiful, graceful hanger there. And the lantern is large. And I love that. So it's a substantial piece. Of course, many of you are familiar with the planter here and these greenery balls that I purchased. Uh, also, this fireplace screen. Uh, these were paid purchased from Amazon. So if you're interested in prices and things in that nature, you can check out my Amazon store and they will be listed there. The planters came from Target. I purchased one at a time. I think they were $70 on sale. I purchased those uh, last year. They may still have them, but I love it because it's made out of that composite uh, recycled material. So it's perfect for outdoors and is safe for the environment. Then we come from this side table here. Here's another 
vertical piece that I like that is nice and slim and it fits perfectly here in the corner of the space. I topped it with this beautiful deer, the cement deer that I had for so many years. I love the arch of the neck and the silhouette of the deer. I think it's very beautiful and graceful and it fits perfectly in this space. Just a nice little pop of white to balance things off. The end table is quite simple. It uh, has a large lantern here with three candles. They are battery operated. I also added some more palms here to bring in that theme on this side of the space. We have two more coasters. I love those candle holders. Those were a gift from my sister for Christmas from Kimmy. If you're not familiar with her uh, channel is A Blessed Home with Kimberly Davis. Check her out. You would love her channel. Here on the second shelf i wanted to bring in some more greenery on this table here so i added some boxwood balls right there on the second shelf just add three boxwood balls to fill in that space i didn't want to be i wanted to fill it in completely but i wanted to bring some greenery there so i added those right there on the shelf i love this centerpiece because i love how i set it up that it looks like you can just come and have a seat and enjoy yourself here on the end of the uh, coffee table, we placed a palm runner. We folded in half and placed it on a diagonal to give it some more interest in this vignette. We placed a black 20 by 15 tray here. Simple. That black on that palm runner looks gorgeous. Then we added some palm leaf right at the bottom of that tray to bring uh, to break up that black and then we place some more palm napkins that's black and green we have our black and white palm appetizer tray filled with all kinds of goodies and then we set up a nice little wine set glass and my favorite riesling and i think it looks perfect here for a comfortable uh evening that you can enjoy yourself right out here on the patio and then we come to the two coasters that I placed here just in case I have company or my husband would like to join me out here for a glass of wine. And then we have this floor arrangement. I just love this floor arrangement. It's simple. All I did was place some hydrangeas, some magnolias, some eucalyptus and a variety of other greenery and flowers but then I wanted to really have that wow factor and also to bring in that theme my palm paradise summer so I add some more of those palm leaves to the floor arrangement to give it some more pizzazz and I put them on an angle as you can see there on top and then we have it again at the bottom of the floor arrangement where you see a set of palms there on an angle and I think it looks interesting. I think it makes a perfect focal point and is gorgeous. Over here in the corner, we took advantage again for that vertical space. I brought in some white and we placed these two urns. One urn is on a stand to bring in some height. And then we also placed it in a diagonal to give it some more interest. These are some gorgeous, gorgeous urns. I love decorate th with them indoors and outdoors. Love the texture in the center of the urn. And it's just perfect in this space. It bounces off on the other side of the room. This beautiful centerpiece on this buffet table is gorgeous. It's just palms, green palms in three glass vases that's housed in this beautiful iron lantern. I love it. It's so large. It gives a divider here between the dining area and the sitting area. And I just love, love, love it. Look at the variety of palms here in this beautiful floral arrangement. And I made sure that what's seen on this side is also beautiful on the other side. So it can be enjoyed on this side of the room.
So these pillows on the chairs and on the settee, they came from Amazon. And you uh, should be familiar with the green pom-pom pillows. I have the same pillows that was in my spring foyer uh, decorate with me that I did an earlier part of this year. And these are those pillows. Then we have the palm lumbar pillows here. They came from Amazon. These will be in my Amazon store if you're interested. That will be in the link in the description box below. And I think it looks very, very nice against those two green pillows and that black throw that I have here on the couch. Just in case it gets chilly out here at night or early in the morning, it still gets a little chilly. Uh, something like 72, 73 degrees. And then we have the same type of pillows on the chairs on the opposite side of the room. As you can see on these two chairs here with those same types of green pom-pom pillows. By the way, those pom-pom pillows also came from Amazon. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed my decorate with me, my palm patio paradise or palm paradise patio. <laughs> that I've shown you today and got some ideas on a theme that you can do for your summer entertaining this year. And I will see you guys on the next video. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And also, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. I love to have you to the family. And for all you loyal family members out there, you know I love you. Thank you so much for being you and being here with me today. I will see you on the next video. Like what you see? Don't forget to follow me. Breeze Project Book. I'm on Instagram and Facebook. If you are new to the channel, welcome. If you would, please subscribe and click the bell twice and you'll be notified when I upload new videos. And don't forget to search the video library for ideas, tips, and inspiration. And remember, a beautiful and organized home begins one project at a time. See you on the next one. Smooches!